So uh, in module five, unit four of entrepreneurship and innovation, uh, we are looking at change management. Change management is the process, the tools and techniques in managing people, the people side of change to the for business outcome. So the process is not the problem. The tools are not the problem. The techniques are not the problem. It is human beings. So when you hear about change management, we are talking about how to change people to adapt to work situation. It uh, includes the area of recruitment, the processes of work, the job rules, the job rules of the people that are recruited, the job specifications. Because if we don't adapt, if, if they don't work well, the, the, the change will not occur. So they have to adapt the organizational structure itself, the types of technology that is being employed, they have to adapt to all these uh, situations. So they, 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 you have different levels of change. You have the change of individual worker, individual employee in the organization. Then you have the change, group change. It uh, deals with um, uh, dif uh, different groups that are working. If it is a big organization, we are looking at, uh, at the departments and the unit. Even we, uh, for uh, small businesses, every business has its own uh, departmental issues. No matter how small business is, it, is, it will have accounting department. There should be marketing department, there's personnel. So no matter how small the, the business is, it must have to deal with human problems. And the tables, offices, they don't talk, they don't move, they don't resist. It's human beings. So the levels of change include the human people, the group, and the enterprise itself, that's the organizational change. And when you're changing, you have to change people, get them to adapt to change. Because so, most, uh, most often, it's not everybody that keys in on change. Change comes with resistance. Because there are some people that are just used to way of uh, are doing things. So even when you are bringing technology, when people are used to using manual to do something, they must resist it, no matter how good you feel your technology is. So organizations, role, structure, processes, projects, and the, the leadership com, com, uh, competencies too. So even if you are the owner, even if you are the one in charge, some people still have a leadership problem. So even the owner or the entrepreneur needs to, you know, uh, take some change at that level if you want to move forward. Lastly, change actually comes, uh, you know, with a lot of concern on the part of the employees of organization because uh, they have to ultimately change how to do their job and if they don't accept the change it will not uh, it will not work out so to ensure successful change in any organization employees must be uh, courted to, to accept the change you get in the involved to tell them why the change is necessary and what will be the expected outcome from change, even how it will benefit them. So you first of all create awareness for the change. Then the leadership must ensure that even at that level, 
everyone will be integrated everybody is necessary if you want change to work out there will be coaching there will be some training in order to make the change successful so that everybody will understand uh, what the change is all about and uh, to do that you have to get everybody involved with a plan for the change the necessity for the change and eventually carry everybody along during the implementation for change this is the end of this sector. Bye.